I'm here at HPE Discover in Las Vegas with Jeff Edland, and 5G is something that uh, should enable lots of new things for the enterprise, but it's not quite here yet. So when it does get here, what should the enterprise be thinking about? Well, I think uh, first and foremost, the enterprise needs to think of 5G as not just the next fastest generation of mobile technology, but what they need to really be thinking about is um, the way that the 5G architecture is built behind the scenes. So there's this thing called the service-based architecture, or the SBA. And the SBA, I feel, is going to be critical for the enterprise as they start to digitize their own business. And they move everything that they can into digital models and be able to really uh, access more customers through um, through the ability to, in, to digitize their business. So when you say digital models, what do you mean by that? Well, so... Um, Take uh, HPE f here, for example. Um, you know, it used to be that Discover was a very uh, isolated experience from a perspective of you came here, you experienced Discover, and you may have been able to take part of Discover Home with you, but the rest of the world had no idea what was going on in Discover. Well, today, when you come to Discover, um, we have interviews like this that are going on. We have interviews that are occurring live. We have people that are attending sessions remotely, people that are getting uh, presentations remotely and digital content immediately as they start uh, either training or learning about different sessions. That's digitization. So, um, you know, HPD Discover is no longer something that you have to come here and you only experience here. Uh, HP discovers being blasted throughout the entire world as a digital experience that everybody can participate in. Got it. So for an enterprise that, that's not hosting an event, what would be an example of, of something like that? Yeah, so um, a business that is a traditional brick and mortar. I can think of a business uh, in um, where I live. I live in a rural community outside of Kansas City, Missouri. And uh, it's small, it's a bedroom community, there's very little commerce there. The brick and mortars that are actually starting to succeed there have moved on to a digital model. So we have a uh, mom and pop music store there. And um, that music store really started to decline as um, the larger big boys started to present uh, you know, digital presences on the web, so their own websites and things like that. They can't compete with that, they don't have the finances, but a way that they can compete is through like an Amazon store or an eBay store, and then uh, not only offering products, but offering content through those channels. So you go looking for something, and not only do they have the product, but they have the content that goes with the product that they can blast out electronically. And what we're seeing uh, is in communities like mine, these digital presences are now a much larger portion of their business, and it's actually funding the brick and mortar presence that they have within the community, whereas they would have died before if they would have just stayed with um, you know, their local point of presence that they, were, that they were trying to retail out of the physical environment. So coming back to, uh the specifics of 5G. Mm -hmm. The edge is something that HPE has talked about for um, several years at this point. How does 5G enable the edge in a different way, or, or does it? So I can give you a really specific example here for the enterprise. So we worked with, um, in the past year, uh, a retail location. And this retail location was a retailer for mobile handsets, for tablets, and for uh, laptops that had mobility connectivity in them. And what the user experience was is that the user walked into the store, they started looking at all of the different assets, and then they wanted to see uh, the videos and the demonstrations that were on the digital signage for these devices. The problem was is that there was a single network link that went into the store, 
and then it was split off it was shared Wi-Fi and you had the employees that were running the point-of-sale systems and running their own um, systems within the store on this Wi-Fi you had the customers that were onboarded on the Wi-Fi and then you had the vendors who were attempting to deliver content on the Wi-Fi and it was a horrible experience because it was congested and everybody was trying to do everything on the same network so what we did is we came in and we said, well, under the 5G umbrella, all network access types are a valid network access type. And we want to put in a Wi-Fi network for public consumption. We want to put in a private LTE network for the employees to do their employee business. And then we want to put in another uh, broadband connection network for all of the vendors that want to present content. We put an edge uh, there in the retail location that had the ability to access those two different radio types and the broadband. And then we put some applications on that edge, like a content caching engine. So all of the vendors could actually cache all of their content that would go on the digital signage right there at the edge. So now you're not pulling all that down from the internet. Exactly. You're not, and you don't have employees, you and I, if we were employees there, communicating back into the carrier core and then back, you know, if we're just texting with each other or messaging, um, and you don't have uh, everybody say, sharing the same not well-engineered and congested network. Instead, you're placing people on the networks that can pr provide them the best utility for the use case that they want to service at any particular time. 5G is something that's really going to allow us to provide uh, even more differentiated um, network access like that. Not everybody's going to need an ultra-reliable, ultra low-latency connection. Not everybody's going to need um, massive uh, bandwidth. Um, so, you know, with a 5G service-based architecture, we can say, oh, well, this guy fits better on Wi-Fi, or this guy fits better on 4G, and oh, I'm going to move that to a low-latency network under uh, 5G new radio because that application needs that sort of, that sort of service experience. And the enterprises are going to be able to take advantage of this and really service their customers in a better way because of it. Nice. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you.